Awesome. Oh, there's a small one here. Reported crime just as behind bars. It's a stash? Yeah, why don't we drive some cars? We have so many. I don't even remember. Oh, this is the golden car. Vato. Javelina. Jen Rowley. Okay. Vato. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, there's... I never even realized. It's got six wheels. Might be a little bit too much. I'm gonna try my best to not bang you up. Hey, V. Sorry I got you mixed up in all this. Don't worry, Claire. You gave me a chance to walk away. I knew what I was signing up for. I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to feel guilty? It's dumb. I don't know if he really deserved it, to be honest. Because he was an asshole, but like I said, is being an asshole a crime? Hmm. Time to forget about the past and move on, Claire. I know. Dean would have wanted me to move on instead of dwelling on the past. Again, thank you for everything, V. Take care, Claire. Yeah, we can still hang out. I hope I still see you back at the afterlife and all that. Oh boy. In fact, that would be kind of sad if that was it and we never talked to you again. It doesn't seem like we can romance her, but I don't know. It might be kind of tacky and not appropriate to, <laughs> to be able to romance a grieving widow. Oh! I'm so... I'm so sorry, Cesar. Your car! It's okay, it's fine. It's a little bit banged up, but it's okay. It's fine. Petrochem... Oh, there's a dam here. Stop these fucking games! Now, this was a stash that we were told to get a while ago, but I don't even remember when. A long time ago, back when we were still in Rancho Coronado. Want to use a shotgun? Haven't done it for a while. They're coming for me! Oh, God. <laughs> One grenade probably would have worked a little better. Liam Martin and David McBride. Gunner decided. Morton's people, the ones doing time in the Militech, can. They gotta go. Zero tolerance for the old guard. How are we doing it? What do we gotta tell the boys? They gotta wait for the runner to hack it. Once that wirehead takes over the prison systems, he'll open the cells, then cut the power. That's when the boys gotta start a riot. And during that riot, they find Morton's people. And then I think you know what happens. Right. No one guard will bring everything in. Just need two to three days to get them the word. Who's that Chum? Wanna know who he is? James Benben. Where does he live? Coordinates. Alright, our boys will head over there, hand him the stuff. Yeah, I wanted to do that, but probably too much for him to take all at once. Yeah, of course. I remember Gunner is the new leader of the Sixth Street Gang, so they're probably trying to eliminate the previous people who were loyal to the old leader. Yeah, because that's the whole reason why that guy, that one guy, was trying to run away from town. Because he was one of the people with the old leader. Okay. My god. Yeah, let's clean out this area. <laughs> Drive a car to go get a car. Or actually, this one would be a little bit closer, and then we can drive back up. Yeah, do a little bit of driving. Why not? This stash is of the Reds, the wife and the husband. Eh, the car still looks good. Hey, now that you can see my head again, you can see my hair. I kind of feel like a rocker girl too. That stadium, we never got a chance to really do anything there. Is there anything to be done there? I don't know. The view from... Rancho Coronado sometimes seems very foreign. Because we're a little bit out of the city.
No, this is some corporate building. Oh, oh, up here? Wait, 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 where do you want me to go? Down there? Don't want to make a mistake here. Wait, you're telling me different things. Stop, you're scaring me. Hey, there's some kind of an alert on Mega Building H4. It says no entry. Why is that? Is it completely broken down? It might be. Okay. What? Why is my car over there? Oh, that must have been the car I left there when I was still in the area, I guess? What? What car is that? Is it the beast? Oh, what the heck? It's been just sitting here the whole time. That's so... I thought they would despawn or something, but I guess not. Now I've just got cars lying everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see here. Oh, because this is where we were... That's where the guy was. Where we did beat on the brat. Oh, this is exactly where we did the reported crime. The stash was in the same area. Dang, I should have done it when we were in this area still. <gasps> People are still dead. Yeah, look, the building... No entry. Oh, I didn't even realize. This loyal employee. Synaptic signal optimizer. Increases health by 40%? You're joking me. Is that a cyberware thing? Damn, we should use that. Would have been really nice to have before the beat on the brat stuff. Maybe it'll be helpful for the final fight. Okay. Hey, why don't we go visit a Ripper Dock then? Let's. I'm pretty sure there's still a few that I've never even seen before. I'm guessing the final fight is gonna be even worse than Rhino. Rhino was okay. Yeah, once we figured out the parrying and the blocking and all that, it wasn't too bad. As long as they give me those options, should be fine. Where are we? Oh. Hmm. Hmm, we don't really fight as many robots as I feel like we should. We fought a few big ones back in the Arasaka, the heist thing, but maybe in the main missions later on. That's when we're gonna see more robots. Oops. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit further than I thought it was. It's kind of underground. Oh, my god. All this walking. Are you gonna be worth it? Hi! Yeah, uh... Greetings? Ooh, it looks really crowded here. How's business? Pretty young looking for a ripper. That a problem? Depends. Not if your experience doesn't match your years. I worked ten years in an R&D lab at More Technologies. I hope that eases your nerves. Mind if I ask why you left? Got a feeling More Tech doesn't skimp out on its engineers. Sure, the pay was good. But I couldn't sleep. More, as you might know, specializes in deep tissue integration, titanium skulls, spine replacements. It's difficult work. It takes time before a new implant becomes viable, its implementation repeatable. Time. And lives. A corpo who couldn't handle it in the end, basically. Looking for some new chrome. Of course. Get comfortable and we'll get to it. I wonder how stringent 
how tight the, I don't know, the licensing to become a Ripper Doc is. Because I feel like it's not that tight if there's these random people, like Black Market, Ripper Docs and all that. Health regeneration outside of combat. Instantly restores 40% health when health drops to 15. Has this really happened? I feel like I haven't seen it happen. Uh, the one I picked up, which slot is it for? Oh, synaptic signal optimizer. Wait, what? It's already installed? Did it install automatically? Oh, oh man, 12 body. I didn't even see this. Oh, well, I mean, we can still look around. Do you have better gorilla arms? You do, you have epic ones. Hey, well, don't mind if I do, right? 250 to 305. 250, 305, okay, better. Costs a little bit of money. Okay, might as well... Might as well buy the projectile launch system too, so we don't have to hunt down another epic one later on. Yeah, so I'm just gonna buy right now. But I want the gorilla arms. Good. Very good. Oh, I feel like I like the double jump too much to try the fortified ankles, but I'll try it, you know, because I haven't tried it before. If I don't like it, I'll come back and, you know, switch it up, but we have to try it. We've got too much money just sitting around too. Yeah, I think we're okay for now. Thank you. What about cyber decks? Just random stuff? Oh, more tech. Did you steal this from work? You might have. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You should have made a lot of money off of me. That was a lot. Black Market Battery increases max charge and charge damage by 100%. Oh, wow. That's good. But I also want the internal bleeding. Uh, why? Do I have to get it off the old mod first? Well, how does that work then? Because I'm not... Um... Can I take it off by myself? Or are you telling me I'm stuck with it on the other one? Uh oh. Here? No, 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 no. Where is my gorilla arms? Yeah, my gorilla arms don't show up here. Oh, so I think maybe what I gotta do is go back in and then equip it again. Unequip it. Unequip the mod. So why, why is that blocked? Oh, because you can't not have a mod? You gotta switch it out for something else? That seems kind of dumb. Am I being really dumb right now, or is this really how the process is supposed to go? It seems so tedious. But we got it. Yeah! Epic Gorilla Arms plus two legendaries. I had this black market battery. But I didn't have two slots anyway until now, so great. Now we'll be all prepared for the final fight. Awesome, thank you very much. Maybe I'll never come back though. This one seems kind of dodgy. Yeah, it's just like this random store in the middle of nowhere. Getting parts for our body is easy, but it's my body, so I feel like, ah, this is probably the kind of thing you want to spend a bit more money on, you know? Want to go get the car? The free car? Sure can do that. No, we probably have to go, like, cross the bridge and stuff. Okay. Let's try a different car. <laughs> you know, I'm always gonna want to go back to the Mai Mai. No, let's try the Emperor. Give it a go. Come on, you've got to be in the area. Here. This way. This way, this way. Yeah, sorry, sorry. 
Oh yeah. This is like one of those big military trucks. Pacific Dreams. Maybe another one? I really do wonder though, is there a samurai song in the radio somewhere? Probably. But whenever we hear something on the radio, they never show us the song name. So it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I don't even think it says pom pom shit anywhere in the game, right? That's just something you know because you look it up. <laughs> Maybe another station? Alright, here we go. Don't Sorry! Me. Gotta stay here. Oons. Now it feels like the radio is a little bit too quiet. Good morning, Night City! I've got a real noodle cooker for you today. Researchers at Biotechnica have exposed a dolphin to the brain dance of a human child learning to read. Apparently, this perceptive porpoise cut can already distinguish between all our vowels. It's a damn shame dolphins can only survive in lab tanks. I'd sure love to see them take a crack at world domination. Are dolphins like the smartest mammal besides humans? I feel like that gets touted around pretty often, but I'm not sure if that's true. Ooh, we got a biker gang here. Sixth Street. Oont, 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 oont. Heck yeah. What do we got here? Oh my god, the garage door is just open! Free for the taking! You guys trying to steal my car? It's my car. Oh! Hi. Do y'all mind? You know why I'm here? Oh, wow. I feel like this car looks way better than the one the guy asked me to steal. I forgot his name. It's all race car seeming. Alright, cool. I guess it is sex on wheels. <laughs> if you're like a real car person. Okay, well, it's been a while. Oh, should I go back to doing the main quest or Judy? Judy might be a good one. But we gotta be careful though, not to go too near to the um, actual main quest. Hmm. Uh, maybe we'll lounge around a little bit more. Oh, uh, you know what? I actually kind of feel like finishing up the beat on the brat stuff. Would that be a good idea? We got a big, long driving track here. Get over there. Get it dealt with. You Jake! Born? That's right. Rides like a dream, doesn't she? Take good care of her. Thanks again. Thanks, man. Very cool of you. Oh, it is fast. Whoa, look at the number going up. Oh! Yeah, yeah, let's ride this all the way to Mr. Razor or whatever his name was. Beat on the Brat Finals. Actually didn't get called up by the police for that.
this car, in addition to being fast, probably the main advantage is that it changes speed really fast. So even if you mess up, you can still catch up. In a race, which we're not doing anymore because, you know, <laughs> we're not into that kind of thing anymore. Yeah, we're actually getting close to the stadium here. Is the stadium part of Pacifica? I know we saw it in the backdrop quite a few times, but I don't know where things are in relation to each other. Might have missed my exit. Hold on. Hmm, we're back in Pacifica, all right. The streets are kind of empty today. Maybe it's like Sunday or something. Another motherfucker trying to kill me. We all better gather around because there's going to be a big fight going on here. Here we are, back of the Ferris wheel and all that. It's oh. passing through. Oh, it's at the mall. That's a little bit unexpected. Okay, we're gonna park in style then. Right in front. On top. Not in the parking lot. <laughs> we can eat and take all my boosters before sitting down here, probably. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we can do this. Hopefully, it's not gonna be a hard one. Not too hard, anyway. <laughs> Plus, we have the black market battery today, so I feel like... It's probably going to be pretty good. All right. Whoa. Allez dans l'autre bogo salle là. Yap ton no. It's got to be at night time, huh? Voodoo boys. We haven't been back here since that one thing. <laughs> the van is still here. I wonder if we came to the mall before we did that mission? Maybe we would have been able to see like a... Um, proper... people just hanging out at the mall kind of thing. Oh yeah, weren't they talking about like boxing with artificial like robots and stuff here? We heard one of the conversations. Ah, Triple Extreme, Epic Workout Center. Hey! Hail Cesar. Shouldn't you be putting up a cradle or something? Two days tomorrow. <laughs> wow, you're dedicated. Oh, Rhino! Yo, Rhino. So you're keeping busy? Next time I'm wiping the floor with you, you'll see. She's still training, even though she's coming to watch. Would the twins be here? Obviously, the guy we killed wouldn't be here. The twins... There's a lot of green people on the mini-map. Kid, why are you... Why are you here, man? Isn't this a little bit too violent for you? Oh, I thought these people were the twins. <laughs> I don't actually remember what they look like. Everybody's here. Damn, we got like a legit boxing ring this time. I'm gonna guess probably failure is not an option. Hey! Well, if it isn't my favorite twins in Night City. Sup, fellas? They're not twins. I'm not, I'm not twins. twins! It's, it's just, just me. me! Yes. Anyway, I'm fine. Thank you. Escardo, Serto, and Serto Escardo. 
They have different bounties. <laughs> Only one of them murdered a NCPD officer. Whoa, who's this guy? He's fancy. Oh, Vic! That's right! Boxing champion Vic! Oh, it's been so long since I've visited you. I'm so sorry. Vic? What are you doing here? What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the street's buzzing about it. Don't let me down now, you hear? Yeah, we should make a trip to go back to Misty and Vic and all that. Vic's clinic. Assign autographs after the fight. Me? I prefer to get drunk after a win. Ah. Wait, 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 hold up. You're V? <laughs> if you're going anywhere after the fight, it's the ER to collect whatever's left of you. Damn. Razor Hugh, also an animal. Look at him. It's a heavyweight champ doing in the bush leagues. Plenty problems at home? On the contrary. I got so much I don't know what to do with it. That's my problem. You see, I started in the mud and shit. Now I climb too high and my fans can feel it. I gotta show them I'm still a scrappy street kid at heart. And you? You're just the wrong place, wrong time. A scrappy street kid? What, who sits his ass on leather in the VIP area? Not the most convincing underdog story I've heard. Who's gonna be convinced? Everyone already knows you're a heavyweight champion. I ain't your typical ring fuck. <laughs> Don't make me laugh! One knock to the jaw and you'll curl up in a tiny ball! My record in the ring's a healthy 47 W's. Zero losses, with 20 by knockout. And you look like a 21st if ever I seen one. That's similar to my record on Tetris Friends while pummeling the beginners. <laughs> well, see you in the ring then. Hey, how come I'm not in the poster? This is some old fight. Who the heck's gonna believe you? You're all like corporate now. Look at you, live on pay-per-view. This year, toughest tournament. Living Legends Live Fridays. Well, we'll see. <laughs> He's got his own boxed off area for himself. Hey coach. Not that you're my coach because I don't think you've really helped me. So what now? What now, she says. Ha. The title match, you go up against Razor Hughes. Heard of him, haven't you? Met him, actually. Don't know what's bigger, his biceps or his ego. And you're surprised. He's a three-time heavyweight champ. Do I even have a shot? Ha. A good question. You could be very good. But this guy, he's a machine. Carbon fiber, titanium bones, hydraulic joints. All optimized by Night City's best bioengineers. I don't know. Maybe Victor will have some tips, tricks. But listen, I'll be honest. It don't look too good for you. But maybe that's better, you know? If Razor's winning anyway, maybe you're looking to earn a little something on it. Excuse me! I'll listen, but no. My pride is on the line here. Hit me with it. No, not here. Too many ears around. Let's step aside. We had the same thing back in The Witcher 3, too. Oh, uh, this guy has like top of the line cyberware and all that. Uh, we'll see. What I'm going to say, it has to be between us. All right. Cut the drama. What's this about? I'm gonna win though, just letting you know. I've got too much money already. Well, V, I'll get right to it. I know sports ought to be fair, but life sure ain't. I'm not wrong, am I? Razor's manager wants his star to shine. He wants the whole city to hear about the hurt he put on this ring. My point. Pull some punches. Forget to put that guard up sometimes. And get 
comfortable on the ground. How much? A lot. More than you'd earn by winning. Watch a lot be like 20k. It might even be less. What if I say I'll do it, but then I like screw him over? Well, I don't want to be mean to the coach. Because the coach, uh, he seems like a nice guy as far as I can tell, so I wouldn't want him to like bet on the other guy and then lose. How about you bet on me? Everyone's got a price. You can't afford mine. It's your ass getting beat, V. Bad move. But it's your call. Come on, let's get back before people start to talk. A lot. Doesn't even give me the actual numerical figure. Sorry, uh, but could we talk, please? Just a minute, promise. Hi. Sure, what about? Not what, but who? Razor. My dad fought him once. A long time ago, when Razor just got started. My dad fell in the third round. The ref stopped the fight. But Razor didn't stop. Three more minutes, he beat the dad. He survived, but... I can imagine. Where's the story going? Nowhere. It's finished. Like my old life. Like my life now. Just... I want Razor punished for what he did. I need him to know how he made my dad feel. That's why I'm here, little girl. Thanks. I'll cross my fingers for you. The gratefulness of a little girl or a couple of extra eddies in my wallet. I think that's easy to decide. Hopefully I can live up to it. Hopefully. Alright, so are you two ready to fight? What? One round! All it's gonna take is you to kiss my feet! Beg for mercy! Right, uh -huh. Shall we? I'm ready. Good. Ladies and gentlemen! Night citizens! It's time for our heavyweight folk! Facing each other tonight, we have... Razor Hughes! And... Dude, we've been talking for so long, I'm so scared my stuff ran out already. I can't tell because they won't show me the timer. Or actually, can I? Look! The max health is, uh, it's gonna run out soon. Holy crap, good thing I checked. Hydration, too. My god. Oh, the boosters last for so long, like half an hour. That is good to know because I'm gonna chug some stuff. Nourishment. I'm sorry, coach, but I'm gonna win. You should have some faith in me! I defeated Rhino, didn't I? We good? I believe so. Cool. Do I have to stay inside the ring? That's part of it too, isn't it? V, hey, how are your spirits before the fight? Good, but my knuckles are itching. Uh, you won't get far in this sport without confidence. But you know, positive thinking's only gonna get you so far against an opponent like Razor. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously, nanofiber, real skin, shock absorbers. They can knock him on the head with a meat mallet. And he wouldn't even flinch. Appreciate the pep talk. Hold on now, I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscles swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there, it's gonna hurt a lot. Thanks, Vic. Keep it in mind. Thanks. You ready? At the gong! Uh -huh. Let's get it! I've never paid attention to where on the body I'm hitting somebody. Let's start this thing. First time for everything! Okay, those are- those percentages are... That's right, that's right! He's already off the stage. 
Keep the pressure till he breaks! What? The pleasure to beat you. And yeah, maybe you're looking to earn extra eddies as a punching bag. And yeah, maybe I'll chain you to the ceiling. Finish what I started. Depends. Do I gotta listen to this bullshit the whole time, or do you ever shut up? Hey, easy, you took the fight over. B, step aside a minute. We gotta talk. Obviously, we're not letting this fly. No, for the little girl. Pay attention to the color of the cables in my hands. They're purple. So I've been trying this fight again and again, and at some point I realize that there's a glitch that makes the fight a lot harder than it should be. And now that I have it figured out, I'm gonna try again and see if I can defeat him. Let's start this thing. See, look at my hands. The purple cables are gone. There's a pretty big glitch, and I'm gonna explain everything once I focus on defeating this guy first. Yeah, yeah, I got it! It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yes! You know, parrying, blocking, these things actually work again. I was having trouble with that. Don't you do a speedy run on me? I can get you. You can't even touch me anymore. Winning for us is a matter of time. All we gotta do is be patient. I've also been forced to listen to this song in the background like crazy. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. Please let me win. If we can block without losing health, like this is all I need. This is all I need. He's bleeding a lot too. Nope. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Just hang back. Get him in the gut. We can dodge too, but countering lets us do a little bit more damage in. And blocking is obviously a little bit more reliable than dodging. Because dodging, sometimes with the hitboxes, it's just not that reliable. End of story. And hey, I've gotten pretty good at this whole countering thing, huh? Get out of here! Get off the ring! Remember to block even if he's far away, because sometimes he slides over and stuff. It's crazy. How it ends? Did, did I just let you out my grip? You'd be wise to. Don't think you could take another beating. This ain't no between us. We meet again. Tomorrow, next year. This definitely ain't the last. Dude, See you're you bleeding. Me. I suggest you train in the meantime. <laughs> See you next year. A horse. That's what I'm telling you. Yes! Finally! We did this! How much money was that? I didn't see just now. We're probably less than 20k, right? Like sponsors or something? This guy's totally corpo! There's nothing grassroots about him. Now I don't know what the fuck now! Ain't you the goddamn manager? It's your job! <laughs> Oh, this quest, this quest, oh my god. Okay, so what happened is... I'm pretty sure there was a glitch for the gorilla arms. You saw it already. When I first entered the ring, they were purple. And during the fight, they were like switching and stuff. Look! 
it's white again. And then if I move the camera around, sometimes it changes back to purple too. So this isn't just a graphical glitch as far as I could tell, because I tried just regularly fighting for like 15 times, and there were two problems I was having. Number one, I couldn't block or parry without losing health. And number two, despite fighting Razor like 20 billion times, he never had any internal bleeding. And so I got the suspicion that my arms probably weren't working properly. And I looked at him online and I found a solution that actually worked. You have to go to a Ripper dock, take out the gorilla arms by equipping Mantis Blades, and then equipping the gorilla arms again. And so when I did that, my arms seemed to be working properly again, but there was this graphical glitch. I think it's normally supposed to be purple, but I've never even seen this purple before I try to fix the glitch. So probably the entire time after I got the epic gorilla arms, it was always glitched out. Which is pretty sad, but hey, at least we're done now. Slick work, V. <sighs> Had a good coach in my corner. Yeah, yeah, do you want to fight sometimes? You know, just for like fun and stuff? I know you're pretty good yourself. Look at your guns. See you around, Vic. He's on the phone. Whatever, man. I knew this would happen. Only the best could be me. Thanks for your support. Maybe we'll spar again sometime. Hey, coach. Ye okay, uh, alright. I hope you didn't lose too much money. Sorry for winning, I guess. Ah, now that is boxing. Yeah, I'd love to fight against you sometime, Rhino. That'd be amazing. Congrats. Well done. Really, congrats. Thanks. Little girl, you got revenge for your dad. Did they leave? That was fast. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It went perfect, and Razor lost. How much? Uh, tons? A few thousand at least? <laughs> what can I say? I'm a good actor. What? Were you lying to me? Wait, wait, actor. So you pulled that whole father story out of your ass. Uh, sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta go. <sighs> Could have figured. Oh, that hurts my feelings. But if it's really some poor kid trying to make a buck, I feel like I can't really blame him for that. Hope you make do with your money and whatever. Okay, well I guess that's that then. The coach doesn't seem to want to talk to me. Probably because <laughs> he's smiling now, but I know he's dead inside. He probably lost a lot of eddies because of me. <laughs> this is probably the last melee fight we have to do, right? So this might be my cue to unequip the freaking arms, actually. Like, I, my god, I just can't believe this big of a glitch still hasn't been fixed. I feel like I've seen a lot of complaints about this series of quests. And maybe it's not just because Melee itself is not that well developed in this game, but the Gorilla Arms glitch is a big one. From my looking online, it didn't even seem like that many people were aware of it. So if you're having trouble... See, look at that. It just switched again. If you're having trouble, then try switching your cyberware at the Ripper Dock. Try switching out the Gorilla Arms and hopefully it'll work again. But we're free! We're free!